If you've ever had issues catering to the different taste buds in your family, I've got a great, awesome solution. We are gonna personalize some meatloafs and baking cups. First, we're gonna start with a little bit of prep by making some mashed potatoes. Start by peeling and roughly chopping some golden Yukon potatoes and placing them in a large pot of boiling salted water. While the potatoes are boiling, we're actually gonna start making our meatloaf. We've got 50% ground chuck, 50% ground sirloin, and we've actually put some water on some French bread. We've let it soak for a few minutes. I know it sounds weird, but it's gonna help keep our meatloaf nice and moist. We're gonna add that to our meatloaf, chop up some goodies, throw those in there, and then I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do next. Small diced sweet onion, red and green bell peppers, fresh chiffonade basil, and of course, finely minced garlic. What would a meatball be without some fresh, finely grated Parmesan cheese? Finish off with some whisked eggs, salt and pepper, and then it's time to get dirty. Get your hands in there and then combine all those delicious ingredients. The meatloaf is done being prepared before we put them in the baking cups. We wanna make a really quick sauce. Simply stir together some ketchup, apple cider vinegar, soy, brown sugar, and dry mustard. At this time, the potatoes should be finished off, so simply strain those, pop them back in the pot with some unsalted butter, sour cream, salt, and ground white pepper, and then mash away. I like them chunky, but feel free to whip them until smooth. And now it's time to start assembling. We're gonna do four different types of meatloafs. The first one is a Southwest. Begin with forming individual meatloaf balls and placing them in a cupcake pan line with jumbo foil baking cups. Pour on some of your favorite salsa, canned or homemade, and then top off with some fresh grated Mexican cheese blend and sliced green onions. And now for a little barbecue kick. Add on some caramelized onions and your favorite barbecue sauce. The next one should be a family favorite. Spread on some of that delicious soy brown sugar ketchup glaze we made with a mound of mashed Yukon potatoes on top. Can you say delicious? Lastly, meatloaf and bacon were meant to be. So wrap up a meatloaf baking cup and spread on some more soy brown sugar ketchup glaze and place the whole pan in the oven on 375 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes or until cooked through. We got four different types of meatloafs here. Someone in your family's got at least like one of these. They are all amazing, delicious, pretty easy to make. Cannot wait to start trying them. I'm actually gonna eat all four of them. We'll catch you next time.